Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'd like to do a short unboxing and presentation of this clock radio from Philips. The model is TAR4406-12 and I bought it because it has a fully digital tuner for radio stations. I have a normal model from Philips but it has an analog tuner. So I really wanted to test a model with a digital tuner and this is it. As you can see on the box here we have a picture with the product. The product is white but I'll show it to you when I'm going to open the box. What else we have on the box? So here we have some specifications. It's made in China. Okay. Here we have another picture with the product. Also some specifications. And this is it, the box, it's quite compact, very simple, I like it. As you can see here, the main characteristics of the clock, it's that you have a USB charging port, meaning that you can connect your smartphone USB cable directly to the clock and you can charge your smartphone. You have a digital tuner with presets and you can set two alarms. But let's jump inside the box to see what we have in there. We have some paper, probably instructions, yeah, user manuals, let's see, yeah, some basic descriptions. Okay. Here we have a box I believe is a charger. It's white like the product. Yeah, this is the charger and this is the connector and the charger it has an output of 5 volts and 1.5 amps. So in total 7.5 watts. It's quite small, I like it. Nothing in here. And what else? And the product. And the box is empty. This is how the product comes in this bag. This is the antenna, be careful not to damage it. So let's take it out. Okay. This is the antenna for the radio. Uh, it looks quite long. I'll see. And this is how the product looks like. As you can see here we have a sticker with some clock on it. But I will take it off. And this is it. This is the radio. The, the front of the radio and of the clock, it's like a mirror, so basically it reflects uh, everything. Here we have the logo of the company. Here we have some buttons. Yeah, we'll see what are those buttons for. It's matte plastic, but quality plastic. Here we have the power connector and here we have the USB A connector basically this is where you plug in your smartphone charging cable here we have a sticker with some details about the product serial number and here you can put two batteries triple A batteries these batteries are to store the clock so basically if you run out of power let's say you have a power outage, the clock will work on batteries for a limited period of time, of course. This is it. So let's try to power it on to see how it looks like. This is the charging cable. It's quite long. It has around one meter.
Now, as you can see, it is on. Okay, so the first time when you are going to use it, it will look like this. What you need to do is basically to set the time. In order to set the time, you need to press this button here. And here you can select between 24 hours or 12 hours, depending on how you like the time to be displayed. I like 24 hours format, but you can also choose 12 hours format by pressing this button here, okay? And now with this button, you can set the hour and the minute. So let's try and say that we are at 16 and minutes. Let's say 16 and 15 minutes, okay? And in order to store the time, you just push this button, press that button here, and that's it. Now the time is the time that you select, 16 and 15 minutes. Okay, now, uh, as you can see here, we have a button. If you press it, you switch to FM radio. Press it again you switch to time mode. But I'll show you to you how the FM radio works a little bit later because I need to make sure that the entire antenna is unfolded. Now let's focus on the clock. So this is how the clock looks like. As you can see, the numbers are quite big, quite bright, I like it. If you find the brightness too bright for you, you can adjust the brightness by pressing this button multiple times. So if you press it once, it's not so bright anymore. Press it again and now it's very, very faint. So if you want it, maximum is like this. So it has three levels of brightness, okay? This is maximum, this is medium, this is the lowest intensity. And this is how the clock is displayed. Now, let's say that you want to set up an alarm. As I told you at the beginning, it has two alarms and from these buttons you can control the alarm. This is the alarm number one and this is the alarm number two. If you want to set up the alarm, what you need to do is to long press this button here. And as you can see, the alarm number one is shown on the screen. And in order to set the time, you need to play with this time button, the hours and the minutes. So let's say uh, six o'clock in the morning, six and 10 minutes. You need to confirm the time by pressing this button and here, you can select how the alarm to sound by buzzing or by radio. I'll choose by bu buzzing. And this is it. As you can see now, the alarm is set. If you want to cancel it, you just press this button again. And the same procedure, if you want the alarm number two, you press this button, you set the time, and you can activate it and deactivate it by pressing this button. And of course, you can have both alarms active in the same time. Now, this was the time function. If you want to switch to the radio function, you need to press this button here. And as you can see, right now I'm in the radio mode. This button here controls the volume of the radio. Let's put it at zero for the moment. So right now, in order to make sure that the radio stations are correctly captured, you need to unfold the antenna. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, I managed to unfold the antenna. Antenna is around half a meter long. Okay, you need to make sure that you fully extend it in order to catch all the stations. And right now, again, let's move back to the radio function. So you can search for stations in two ways. Either you press this button and it will automatically scan for all the station and will memorize maximum 20 stations, okay? Or you can do it manually by pressing this tuner button uh, many times. So let's increase a bit the volume. And let's try, it's too much. And let's try to search manually for a station. If you long press on it, it will stop at the first station.
Okay, this is the first station, but probably due to the copyright issues, I will not be able to show you the maximum volume. But the um, radio station is quite clear. So again, you can either press it manually or long press it and it will stop at the first station. Yeah, this is the first station, but again, due to copyright issues, I'm not able to play it loudly. Okay, and this is how you manually select, or as I told you, if you long press this button, it will automatically scan and memorize the 20 channels that it can memorize. Or if you want to, let's say, let's switch back to the FM. Let's say that you want to memorize this station. What you can do is press this button here, and as you can see, it automatically memorizes it on the position number one. And that's it. And let's search for another one. Let's search for another one. Okay, this is the next one again due to copyright issues. I will not be able to let it play, but now I want to memorize it again on the next position. Long press this button, position number two, press it again, and now it's memorized. Okay, and now the two stations are saved into the memory. If you want to play between them, what you need to do is to enter the FM mode and just press this preset button and you can select whatever station you want. As I told you, maximum 20 stations, but I just memorized the first two. So you just press until you see two. And now, as you can see, you see the radio station. And after a while, it will switch to clock automatically, as you can see here. But it shows you that the FM radio is working in the background. And it's working, yes, but I'm not going to put the volume up. This is the station frequency. Okay, what I want to do now is to press this button to memorize all the stations. Let's do it. And now it will automatically scan and assign its station to a program as you can see. Okay. Okay, that's it. So now I have, I think 14 stations memorized. And if I want to switch between them, I just press this button. Program number two, program number three, number four, number five. But let's see, let's increase the volume a little bit. Yeah, yeah, this is. But due to YouTube copyright issues, I cannot let the music play, unfortunately. Let's say another one. Yeah, the volume is not very loud. It's okay for, uh, let's say, a medium room. It's not very loud. It's very flat, no bass. But that's it. This is uh, just a clock with a radio function. Don't expect to perform like a big, big speaker. Okay, and one last thing that I want to show you is how to use the sleep function. So basically, if you listen to radio and you go to, to sleep, you can set the radio to turn off after a period of time. You can select between 120 minutes and 15 minutes. And you do that by pressing this button, sleep button. As you can see, you can select the time interval, let's say 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the FM radio, which is this post here right now, it will turn off. So 
as you can see now you should see the clock yes this is the clock and you have two indicators the fm meaning that the fm radio is working now the volume is at zero due to copyright issues and the fact that you have the slipper on and this is it okay guys this was my short unboxing and review if you like this clock please subscribe and hit the like button thanks